Hi, this is Bruce again. Uh, in this video I want to talk about how to make laser cut um, shingle material look like a slate roof. Um, here you have typical three tab shingles, laser cut. Uh, there's many manufacturers out there who, who make it. You want to start with one where the basic color is a slate gray. Uh, and that's what this is. Uh, it's adhered to a subroof of Strathmore board using uh, 3M transfer tape, which I explained in a previous video. And it looks like a very nice uh, three-tab shingle roof, as is found in many structures across the country. But I want an observer, when looking at this roof, to say, oh, that's a slate roof. So how do we go about that? Well, the solution are a set of uh, markers called Prismacolor markers. These are high quality artist markers. Uh, you can find them in uh, the big craft stores such as Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joann's and so forth. Uh, but they might not have uh, a complete uh, array of all the markers. Uh, so you might have to uh, go to online to a place like Dick Blick or to a local uh, artist store. I have found that um, a couple of markers from the family of cool gray colors and a marker from the warm gray uh, line um, give you the kind of variation that, uh, that you're going to be looking for. And so I use cool gray 20% and cool gray 40% and warm gray 30%. If you can't find these exact ones, but you can find cool gray 10%, that's not a problem. Uh, you just want to have some variety that are in similar families of uh, gray colors to go with the basic slate gray roof. Now let me show you the look that we're, we're trying to get. This is a Campbell kit uh, where I have uh, put on um, a slate roof uh, on all three of the uh, successive roofs actually. Uh, this happens to be a mixture of rectangular slates and uh, uh, fish scale slates, but I have other roofs that are all rectangular as, as you will find out there in the real world. They don't all have mixtures of uh, the shapes of the slates. But you can see that what makes this jump out as a slate roof uh, are the variations in colors of the, of the actual slates. Uh, and that is what we want to achieve and this video is going to show you how to do that using the Prismacolor markers. When you look at the Prismacolor markers they have two ends. One end is a, uh, a broad tip and that is useful if you're going to actually use these to stain uh, strip wood or scribe siding which a number of people do in their modeling. But for our purpose where we want to uh, stay within the lines of the, of the shingles, the fine tip on the other end is what we're going to use. Now I am going to uh, simply take the first one and I grabbed uh, the cool gray 40 percent and I am going, you can see I've already done a few, I am going to pick some slates at random and color them in with this marker. And You want to jump around and be random as to where you do it. You don't want to do a whole row of this and then a whole row of another one. You don't want it to look like a zebra. You want to uh, jump around and pick a slate here and a slate there. And I'll probably do, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 15-20% uh, of the slates in this color before I uh, pick up another color. I'm not going to do that now or the video would go on forever, but uh, let me pick another one. In this case, it's the cool gray 20%. Get the fine tip again. And again, go back and pick some slates at random and start coloring them in. Now, when the slates are still wet from the marker. They're a little darker than what they're going to be when they're dry. So don't panic that they look way too, 
too dark as you're doing this because they are going to tone down very nicely when they're dry. And again, just jump around and again do, you know, 15 to 20 percent at random uh, of the slates on the roof. And when you're done with that, you know, take your last color, in this case it's the warm gray 30 percent. Oh, it looks like I paid $3.59 for this. I'm sure that that's in the ballpark of what you pay. They last quite a long time, as long as you remember to put the tops back on. And again, jump around at random, coloring in the slates. If you do get one on the slate next to it, go ahead and color that one in too. Because in the real world, you do get adjacent slates that are the same color. And you just keep doing that. By the time you're done, you have a distribution of the slates that you colored using the Prismacolor markers. And you'll have some place like 40% uh, or so of the slates that are the original color. Now, I'm nowhere near done with that, but I'm done as far as this video is concerned to give you the idea of how to simulate a slate roof uh, on your models using laser cut uh, shingles. And again, there are so many different manufacturers of uh, laser cut shingles. I have had very good luck with the Prismacolor markers and the way they uh, soak in using the product from uh, Rusty Stump Scale Models. And this is their uh, three tab asphalt shingles. They also have one that is actually uh, marketed as slate and they'll give you a mixture of the fish scale slates and the rectangular slates. But you want to start with the one for this purpose. You want to start with the product that is a slate gray background. And that's it.